Well, the 12th National People's Congress Standing Committee has wrapped up its 10th meeting in Beijing. China's top legislature approved several bills and reports during the session, including reforming Hong Kong's electoral system. CCTV's Huna reports. Passed by unanimous vote, the NPC Standing Committee adopted a decision to implement universal suffrage in the election of the chief executive of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region. The decision was made by the careful deliberation on the report submitted by Hong Kong Special Administrative Region Chief Executive Leung Chun In in July. It's a positive, responsible and practical report. According to the decision, a nominating committee will first be formed. It will then submit two to three candidates for the office of chief executive. Each candidate must be endorsed by the majority of the nominating committee's members. All eligible voters in the SAR will then have the right to cast a ballot to elect one of the candidates for the office of chief executive. The chief executive elect would then be appointed by the central government. In a press conference after the MPC session, lawmakers said their latest decision conformed to both Chinese law and international norms. There is no international standard for universal suffrage, and only the basic law counts. The United Nations has stipulated in 1994 that it did not require all countries to adopt the same political system and election regulation. Every country can decide based on its own basic state policy. Lee said that this form of universal suffrage will entitle Hong Kong residents to directly elect their own chief executive, which will mark a historical leap for Hong Kong's democratic progress. Also during the session, lawmakers passed amendments to the budget law and the production safety law, among other bills. During the seven-day session, lawmakers have deliberated draft amendments to a number of laws and regulations. Four bills were tabled for their first rating. Three bills were submitted for the additional readings. And the MPC Standing Committee also passed a decision to set up September the 30th as the Martyrs' Day. On that CCTV, AJ.